the suspended Senator Ningi uh, threatened Akbabio. He said, neither you nor me can control the can of worms I have opened. Meaning that uh, irrespective of uh, the suspension, irrespective of what he said or what he did not say, but Nigerians have been able to know the stuff they are made of. Do you know that uh, whether people are saying that uh, he made a mistake, he didn't do his findings, or the colleagues are saying, no, that was not what he meant. Oh, he was not correct. If that had not happened, the person that said, talked about 500 million naira wouldn't have come up to say that, wouldn't have heard about that. So it wanted to expose the 500 million and other money that these guys are collecting. Abari Bay has come out to say, oh, two something million has been allocated to him. Why some got 500? Why did not get 500? And meanwhile, one of the senators from Ekiti State, eh, Okoyemi Bamidele, confirmed that they got the money, but that Nigeria should wait that by the end of 12 months, eh, if they will not do anything in their constituency, they, you can hold them responsible. Meaning they collected the money, whatever Abari Bay is saying. And like Hussein eh, eh, Rufai said that, uh, they will always tell you that uh, they don't give them the money in cash. They just want to uh, make sure that they oversee what happened and to see that the projects have been done at the end of the day. But he said he believes that they will go back and influence the contract. They will be the contractors. They will want to stand. Officially, it will seem as if uh, they, are just, uh, they are just going to be overseeing the activities of the OT. But they are the ones that will get the contract. That is it. The Senate slammed a three-month suspension on Ningi, lawmaker representing Bauchi Central, over the allegations that 3.7 trillion naira was traceable to any projects in the 2024 budget. The lawmaker made claim in an interview he granted to BBC Hausa over the weekend, based on the wide interest generated by the issue. Based on the wide interest generated by the issue, Ningit addressed the media ahead of the next plenary sitting, saying although he was misrepresented in some quarters, he stood by what he said and was ready to ready for any consequence. Expectedly, the upper legislative chamber sat on Tuesday. The issue was discussed as, as some of Ningit's colleagues called for his suspension after Senator Lamile Kwadiola from Ogun West moved a motion for the issue to be discussed. The Senate descended into chaos as Jaribe Jaribe, Senator representing Cross River North, claimed that some senior officers or senators got 500 million naira in the budget for constituency projects. He said, Let us watch our dirty linear in public if we want to go into those issues. All of us are culpable. Some senators here, so called senior senators, got 500 million naira each. I am a ranking senator, so I didn't get. Did I go to the press? I don't even understand what that guy was even trying to say. He said he did not, he didn't go to the press. So you didn't go to the press does not mean that somebody else did not go to uh, will not go to the press. And like I said, it might not be the reason or what uh, Ningi said about uh, the pardon of the budget, but because God wants us to know this five hundred million naira of a thing, whether Ningi was right or not. But this issue of five hundred million naira, they all attested to it. And this guy that was saying that uh, uh, all of us are culpable. Uh, we would they will watch that dead cylinder in the public that he didn't go to press so i don't even know where he belongs to but i think uh, he himself was just using the opportunity again to express himself but he was trying to say that uh, oh he didn't go to to press but he didn't discuss it with them not until when ningi's case was brought uh on the floor or to the floor of the senate on the floor of the, of the senate he didn't say so so it was this wingy's uh, case that made him to say it he wouldn't have even come up come as to say anything of this nature but god has already exposed them mm. and like a uh, we uh, ningi said that no matter what that the canker worm he has already opened you know is we is escalating and it's opening up a lot of things that many nigerians do not know irrespective of uh, whatever people might think of a uh, ningi that uh, he was part and parcel of them because he didn't get and all of that and that is how god is going to be setting confusion among them that's it the discussion has dominated the media as many Nigerians have been asking their representatives at the Senate to comment on the amount they got. Speaking on the development when he featured as a guest on Arise TV after the suspension, Ningi claimed that members of the Senate were 
determined to get him silenced or arrested. He said, that is why I asked. I know this parliament very well. I have come a long way. And that is why we are speaking. Let us speak. They Have they ever asked me since the beginning of this so-called crisis, where are your findings? Where are the documents? I'm not using my head to come up with figures. But they are saying that this guy did not bring anything. Huh? And no wonder uh, Hussein Rufai was telling them that let this guy speak. Give him more time to speak. So they didn't even ask him. And some of them were like, oh, uh, we told him to prove, to give evidence. And he could not do that. Hmm. Mm, it's unfortunate. He said, nobody has talked to me about evidence. Nobody has suggested even listening to me. All they are trying to do is to ensure that how do we make sure that Ningi is silenced or arrested so that he doesn't do anything. I have opened this can of worms. Neither they nor I will be able to control it. Exactly. So guys, uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.